this is uh, pretty interesting. I'm very excited today. Um, I just kind of slapped this conference call together um, after uh, having a very incredible conversation uh, with Jennifer uh, last night after the Fast Start training that I did. Now, um, I spoke up there in Raleigh, and I mean, we had a tremendous audience. Um, I I'll tell you what, you know, I, I misspoke. I said in the text message she had about 25 people there. She actually had about 40 people there. And, um, you know, her weekly meetings that uh, she just started recently as of this year uh, have already got, you know, 70 plus people. I mean, in some occasions, she's uh, literally had, you know, the, the fire marshal, you know, uh, warning because she's had over 100 people at an event with a capacity of, of only 91. All right. And we're talking about um, not even a super Saturday, just a regular weekly meeting. But the thing that's really impressed me the most is, is her unbelievable work ethic, some of her philosophies on what she's doing um, and how she's building this business. And most importantly to, to me, which I'm really admiring right now, is the caliber of people that she's bringing on are straight, sharp professionals. I mean, I'm not saying that she doesn't have, you know, the everyday people, you know, the so scattered in there, some of the 20, 21 year olds, all right, um, you know, that are new to the business world. But I'll, I'll tell you what, you know, just looking at the demographics of her organization, it's just flat out phenomenal. So, um, you know, first thing I want to open up with is, um, Jennifer, if you would, just kind of really briefly, we're going to try and keep this call, you know, short and power packed because I am recording it and I, you know, I do want it to, um, to be short enough so that, um, people in the future are really excited, uh, to hear for, uh, from it. But if you would just give us a, a quick little introduction, um, you know, as to, uh, kind of what's, what it is that's really, uh, I know your background, um, you can kind of share that just your quick little testimonial and, and why it is you're running so hard and what it is that you're doing um, that you kind of attribute some of the success to? Wow, that's kind of a loaded question. Um, you know, my background is, is real estate sales. And to be honest with you, you know, when I got into the real estate business, um, it was to build a six-figure income right out of the gate. And I was very blessed uh, to do that within a year and a half. You know, I took home $135,000 um, basically as a rookie in the business and built the business to multiple six-figure income. Um, obviously, we all know, you know, what's going on in the economy. And obviously, to um, make those kind of sales in real estate, um, not saying that it's not available, but I need 10, 12-day weeks versus the seven days a week that I was doing. Um, with a small child, I have a three-year-old uh, family is very important to me and so in the real estate business there's no way uh, that it can afford me the time that I want to spend with my family in order to do the serious volume sales um, it's going to take Friday night and Saturday night and Sunday night and obviously I'm giving up that precious time with my family uh, being 35 years old to me is, is time to start living so prepaid legal is affording me that opportunity uh, when I came into this business, immediately it made sense to me as a real estate broker to offer these services to my clients so they could save 25% off their closing attorney and have their will done. Since that makes sense to me, obviously I knew that it would make sense to other real estate brokers, other mortgage and mortgage brokers that I did business with. So my first recruits in this business literally were real estate brokers and mortgage brokers. And so, with that being said, I started seeing kind of an opening with um, insurance agents and accountants and other professionals. And so, immediately, um, you know, as I recruited a new individual, you know, step number one is to take your mouth shot, shut, and step number two is to develop your list. And so, obviously, you know, where a lot of the success came in, what I believe is, you know, we immediately had... Uh, professionals in this business who were used to making big incomes, were used to working on commission, were used to scheduling their own schedules. You know, this wasn't the average Joe, no offense, that works in a factory um, and is used to that steady income and doesn't know how to juggle a schedule and doesn't know how to, to work on commission and that kind of thing. So we were able, you know, within our organization to immediately sit down with these professionals who understood that concept. And obviously, it again was duplicatable, made sense to them to go out and sort through these other professionals as well. So in a short period of time, you know, we built a pretty strong team. 
Um, and, and with that being said, obviously, you know, it's carrying us into the direction of where we're headed right now, which is, in my opinion, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, I, I will be making more money, bringing home more money um, in this year, in this next year, than what I ever dreamed of in the real estate business. And, you know, my best year in the real estate business was $455,000. And I believe, obviously, we have a vehicle, you know, to make more money than that. Awesome. Now, you had a great epiphany recently, um, you know, because you said initially you, you were recruiting some pretty sharp people that were in real estate and mortgages. But then immediately, you know, the, the path of least resistance is a lot of them, you know, they were recruiting uh -huh. down. Um, and then you saw um, kind of a little bit of a fall off, you know, where you saw some sharp people getting in, but then they were recruiting down and getting people that maybe weren't um, at that same level or of above. But then it, I remember you saying, like, hey, you just had an epiphany. You said, you know something? Forget this. I, I'm driving through. I'm getting them to make their list stronger, getting their better leaders, um, and, and really kind of shaping the, the thoughts. And also uh, into that, share with me a little bit about what you experienced and, and how your business um, did have some, uh, you know, a couple of lulls. And you were noticing, hey, the, you know, this whole fast start qualifying thing, it's killing your business. So share with me a little bit about, about about what you did there, kind of how you ha when you had that fall off and when you noticed that, hey, someone's getting involved and they're doing, what, three memberships. That's not doing anything for me. You know, what is it that you've done recently um, and what did you do to address that issue? Absolutely. So my business started back in November of 2009. And, you know, at that point, we could drive to director a little bit quicker than what we could on uh, meal days. And so I drove to director in eight days, uh, went after those professionals, as I shared with you. And, yes, yeah, some of those professionals went after professionals. But what I started noticing is that everyone seemed to recruit the folks that were down on their lot the folks that were without jobs, the folks that were, you know, just getting out of college and, and couldn't find jobs and things like that. And so what was happening is these folks that were down on their luck, again, they're, they're, they're negative, they're down on, down on their luck, obviously they were not bringing in, they were not recruiting up, they were recruiting down. So everyone was continuing to recruit down. And so what happened over the next, say, nine to ten month period my team completely fizzled out. Um, at that time, I was actually in the hospital with my little girl. We were in Boston, Massachusetts, and I watched my team completely fizzle out and realized that obviously when I, um, you know, got back in, into North Carolina, you know, my goal was to build a second team. So I did that. I went out in September, recruited nine people my first week back into the business. Um, and in that regard, the same thing kind of started happening again. Uh, we had some folks that um, would recruit their level, and then all of a sudden they're recruiting they're recruiting down again, and, and it's starting to fizzle. So come January, I do it all over again. I go back out and I start building a new team, and I continue to recruit. And what I learned very quickly was as I brought a new associate to the business, within 48 hours I was sitting down with that associate, doing a game plan interview, going over their list, and in going over their list, we're circling those top professionals, those accountants, those insurance brokers, those mortgage brokers, those real estate brokers, the teachers, um, you know, the, the, the business owners, and we're circling those, and those are the first people that we're going belly to belly with, or those are the first people that we're putting on the webinar, those are the first people that we're writing out to the business briefing uh, to meet the business partners, and so... That's really who we were who we were driving at. Um, what I've learned in this business is that anytime there is a big contest, people step up. And so what I noticed is that the, the months where I had the biggest numbers really were the months that I was heading into Oklahoma. Uh, I had made myself a goal that I was going to go into Oklahoma as an executive director, which meant that I had to drive directors and drive managers. And so when my team is driving to manager or they're driving to director, some awesome numbers are taking place and everyone's focused on it. When we get all the contest, basically we, we leave Oklahoma and um, you know, it seems like that, that the whole focus shifts from driving to manager and driving to director 
to basically driving to fast start qualifying. And so we have these, you know, sharp-minded business professionals. And, you know, the sponsor is basically telling this brand-new associate, look, man, you got to fast start qualify. Hey, man, you got to fast start qualify. Hey, man, you got to fast start qualify. That's all you got to do, fast start qualify. And I think what happens is, that associate is thinking those two fast start points and is thinking that that bonus and okay that's what's expected out of me and unfortunately people only rise to the expectation and so if this professional is being told to fast start qualify in 30 days what I was finding in, in, in my team with hundreds and hundreds of people is that people are fast start qualifying the last day of the month now don't get me wrong some folks are are, are picking up the pace and doing more than that, but they're far and few between. And so, you know, what I'm doing, I'm sitting here looking at these people who know so many people, and they're basically bringing on one business associate, they're selling three memberships, and when you look at the strength and the potential that this person brings to the organization, really, those three sales are worthless to me. I need a team to come out of, of, of this person. And so, you know, I'm sitting here, you know, and realizing that obviously these folks are 1099. You know, you can't push a road. I can't, you know, I can inspire, but that I can't make someone do something. And so as I'm sitting here, I kind of went back old school um, of really, you know, how in the world do we get people uh, to really see this concept? And I honestly believe that you have to put a blueprint in place. And, you know, most people, they understand how to get from junior associate to associate. But without that blueprint, without that map, they're getting lost on how do I go to senior? How do I go to manager? How in the world do I get to director? And so I sent a, uh email to Caesar with a contest. Um, that I'm doing uh, on my team for this month, and obviously we're going to continue this. Um, but basically, it is the job to manager. And to me, what it does is immediately it shows that brand new associate um, how, number one, they can create 50 plus sales on their team in less than three weeks. Well, as you guys know, you know, 50 sales out of a brand new associate, that's pretty awesome. 50 sales out of a veteran associate is pretty awesome because when you multiply that times five associates that you have, that's still 250 plus sales in your team. If you have 10 associates, 20 associates, however, you now see where these numbers are coming in. But this is what I learned. A brand new associate who comes on board, and they've been on board for 30 days, and they're hearing their associate nag in their ear, faster qualify, faster qualify, faster qualify. They finally get it the last day of the month, and they look at their bank account, and what do they make? $207. And, you know, they're associating that nagging and that negativity and that whole month. And all they made was $207. And so to me, that associate did not come on board to make an extra $200. They came on board to build an income stream. So when you lay out the circles, and, and it's really just filling in the circles, when you lay out the structure of what a manager looks like, you basically have 39 associates. What that also means is you have 39 sales because those associates need memberships. And so now that brand new associate can actually see the structure. And what I'm basically telling my associates is, hey, look, all you've got to do, okay, right now, all you've got to do this week, right now in the next two to three days, I need three business partners. And I need you to sell a membership to a family member. You know, we all have a mom, we all have a sister, we all have an aunt, we all have a cousin, we all have someone that we love that we want protected with prepaid legal services. So go sell that membership, go take a brochure, go take a DVD, put them on a conference call, do whatever you have to do, get that membership. But I need three business partners and I need them right now. I need them within the next two to three days. So those business partners are either being exposed through, you know, the webinars, through the uh, business briefing, um, through the luncheon, you know, through a belly to belly, whatever that is. So when that brand new associate brings on three business partners, okay, obviously they're going to get paid for that. But then those three business partners immediately bring on board three business partners and also sell a membership. Now what's happening is your brand new associate now sees the override process that happens in our business. And that's really where the fortune is made, and that's where people get excited and get motivated to see that this is for real and that there's real leverage. 
And then obviously those three business folks, all they have to do are, are nail those um, nine business associates, those nine new business associates, you need to go out and find three more business partners and obviously sell a membership. And so I've broken this down for week one, week two, and week three. And basically what we're doing is week one right now, my new associate needs to bring me three business partners at our briefing on Tuesday night. So that means, you know, we need a space of maybe to five or six people. Bring those into our briefing. Let's go ahead and get these folks sponsored and ready to go. Now, now I'm going to hold a conference call on Thursday evening for these three business partners to obviously bring in those non-business partners. And then these non-business partners are going to bring in uh, the next 27 business partners on that following Tuesday. And basically what we've created is 50 plus sales with that brand new associate in three day, in, in three weeks. So basically the brand new associate is bringing her, I think, close to like 1700 bucks through them really quickly. But they're also seeing how the structure works. And what I love about this is basically the structure is there for manager. 51 sales are, are in the hopper. We do it again over the next three weeks, and my brand new associate now has over 100 sales in their business, and they have advanced from junior associate to manager in like six weeks. That's pretty awesome. And so what this basically allows for you to do is create major numbers on your team, but it also allows for you to help people build managers, directors, and executive directors, which in my opinion is the road to platinum. If that makes sense to you guys. It absolutely does. You know, um, let me kind of, you know, interject a few things, guys. You know, here's the translation of what she's saying, and I can attest to this a thousand percent. All right. Um, It's, you know, it's the law of expectation. You know, people will respond to whatever they believe is expected. And uh, that's why, you know, in Prepay Legal, we've got the Players Club contest. You know, hey, you can win a trip to Hawaii and and you can get a car bonus. And all you got to do is, you know, five memberships a month or get five Players Club points a month. And guess what? Every single month happens. The last day of the month, people that haven't done anything all month get their five memberships. Why? Because they expect it and they go, oh, well, that's my quota. I got all month to do it. So guess what? They take all month. There's zero urgency. You know, what Jennifer's done is she's created a culture of higher expectations. She's raised the bar by basically setting the goal on, hey, listen, your goal within your first week is everyone on our team recruits three people and sells one extra membership. That's what you do. That's your job. But she doesn't just say it. She lays out the blueprint and shows them the benefit. And she says, hey, this is what an advanced to manager structure looks like. This is what it's going to look like when you're a manager. She puts them in the picture. She shows them the chart. And I've, I've got my hands on that chart. I'll be emailing it to everyone on this call. So she shows them the chart and she says, hey, look, here's what you do. Week one, boom, here's what you do. Week two, boom, here's what they do. Week three, here's what it looks like. And she just shows everyone, hey, the simplicity of getting three people. But what's so beautiful and golden about that is that is so easy. I mean, that is so freaking simple. Just the problem is we have instilled such low standards into the people that we talk to, and we're frankly uh, afraid to push them. You know, we're afraid to lead them and to and to have a higher expectation because we're almost, you know, I don't know, maybe we're afraid of blowing them out. And we're like, well, we don't want to overcommit them. But let me tell you something, recruiting three people is not a big deal. Matter of fact, if that's their expectation in their first week, you know, they'll probably make 50 phone calls their first week, 25 phone calls. And she also has private conference calls where she gets in the mix. So I want you to kind of understand, you know, number one, she puts a big focus on recruiting up. You know, she's going to the people that have got contacts, that have got credibility, that know about setting their own schedules. And she's driving through getting those leaders and setting the bar higher. And I can tell you something, you know, if I, I look at my organization right now, And I look at all of the executive directors that we've broken over the past several years. And uh, one of the things that I've always found very, very interesting is some of the biggest leaders on my team, some of the people that have shattered the records and broken the record. You know, every person that's ever hit executive director fast has always done it because they've never had anyone to tell them that they couldn't. They never had anyone around them, you know, saying, oh, yeah, you know, to hit executive director, it takes a year. You know, when I broke Josh Schmidt, um, you know, uh, the first fastest executive director I had on my team, you know, I did it in 49 days. You know, he hit director in three days. You know, this was back in the day, but ED in 49 days was ridiculous. 
But the reason why is because he was living, you know, out in Cherry Point. There was no weekly meeting around him. There was no one around him that was like that, that he could go to that has been in for a year and hasn't hit executive. So he asked me, he goes, well, how long should it take me to hit executive director? And I was just like, you know, I don't know, a month, two months, maybe. I mean, really, it's not that hard. So all of a sudden, his expectation was it's not that hard. It takes about a month or two months. So that's when he did it. Same thing when I broke Ed Meenick, executive director. You know, same exact example. You know, he did it in even less, like 39 days. Why? He was in Myrtle Beach. He wasn't around people that had been in longer than that that hadn't hit executive. So no one knew. He didn't know he couldn't do it. <laughs> All right? You know, same thing. I know Jeremiah, when he broke that uh, one executive director way out in Arizona, same situation. You know, what, what I always find interesting, it's, it's just that expectation. If we put the expectation high and we say, listen, of course you should hit executive director within your first couple months. Of course you should hit manager within six weeks, you know, three weeks. That's not a big deal. Here's what we do. This is the formula. Boom, go do it. If they don't have anyone instilling any doubt or any difficulty in this, they actually get to do the business and recognize that it's as easy as it really is. So I think we're overcomplicating a lot of stuff. And, you know, one of the things that Jennifer does with all of her new associates is she does just a simple little walkthrough on uh, the cheat sheet, you know, that I created, you know, years and years ago. And Larry Gregory, that's a system that, you know, he promotes very hard. And obviously Jennifer's, uh, you know, one of uh, Larry's executives. But, you know, you know, Jennifer, during a game plan interview, you know, you're teaching them about the sizzle call. You're telling them, you know, what are you t saying when you first recruit someone? What's your instructions to them? Um, well, number one, obviously, you know, it's, it's just a simplest city of don't take your mouth shut. And number two is I want to list. And so when I'm sitting down with a brand new associate and they give me five names, I immediately, you know, say, hey, that's not going to cut it. Um, again, I, I've seen people to say, oh, wow, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just not that good. I went through my whole list. And we all know the average the average person is a thousand people, and on this list there's five, eight, ten people maybe, and obviously that's not going to cut it. So I immediately sit down with them and start giving them brain joggers, and we fill up the front and the back side of the piece of paper, and then obviously we're going through the list. Um, then you know what I'm going to do is is go back through the ten core commitments because I honestly believe that's what it's about. Um, you know, a true leader, someone who's really going to be valuable on my team is a person who's plugging into my weekly business briefing and plugging into our weekly training conference call. Um, so obviously, you know, they're able now to be the leader on the team because they're plugged in. Um, and then obviously what we're going to go through is, is we're going to talk about how to contact and expose. Um, so, you know, however that's going to be, whether this is going to be belly-to-belly appointments or whether it's going to be webinars with, with follow-up three-way calls or if it's going to be a PDR or PCC or however that's going to be. But my goal is to go ahead and get a brand-new associate out of the gate before life hits them, before there's a car accident, before grandma goes into the hospital. You know, my goal is to go ahead and get them out of the gate with that list, I have a copy of that list, so if for some reason they fall the face of the earth, I'm going to go after their list, and they know that. Um, then I'm going to teach folks how, how to set an appointment, because I think it's so important not to talk the words prepay legal, um, but to actually schedule that appointment. So we're going to learn how to do that. Um, we're literally just learning how to, do, how to do that cheat sheet, along with, obviously, um, you know, our, our 10 core commitments. Um, and, of course, every associate that, that I sponsor and what I duplicate on my team is for, uh, matter of fact, Rick Mobley is, is one of my um, associates that was featured on the uh, leadership show this morning. He was a, the top three uh, recruiter out of the entire company for last week. And we do the same system with every single associate. And so every single associate also gets a Jeff Olson uh, CD set. You know, this is your training. You you know, you're going to listen to this over and over and over until you can recite this three, three this three K CD set. Um, and that to me again is, is strengthening the team and building that foundation. You know, it's kind of that. You know, it goes back to you know Jeff Olson's analogy of the foundation of prepay legal. You know, in my business, I look at it as I'm going to build a skyscraper. So what that means is I'm going to invest a lot of time with that associate in the very beginning. Do I want to? No, because I could be out making more sales. But if I don't go out and I don't train that associate and I don't invest that little bit of time and I don't get that list, then basically I'm building a foundational sand.
okay? Mm. And so that's something that all of my associates do is, is we spend that time, we spend that hour and a half with that associate, getting them started, and obviously getting them, uh, making those exposures. My goal is for my uh, brand new associate within a week to two weeks to be able to go out there and make presentations confidently, you know, on their own. Um, we're also training, you know, so many of our associates now are doing their own private conference calls as well. Um, so, you know, that obviously is duplication. You know, last week I think I had 10 associates running 10 separate private conference calls, you know, which meant that, that I was sitting back and uh, being available for three ways or for support, but that didn't leverage for me and my team. Wow. And, you know, one thing I do want to iterate on this, Caesar, because I think a lot of times, you know, people go, okay, well, yeah, I got my, I got my five points, I got my players club, and, and that's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. But, you know, a lot of us are talking about this Hawaii trip, and we know the stakes are high. We know everyone wants to go to Hawaii. So, you know, to be honest with you, I'm kind of scared for folks that are only getting five sales or six sales or five or six points because I'm really afraid they're not going to be invited to Hawaii. So when you do the system of drive to manager, you guys, everyone winds up getting 12 to 13 points, maybe more right out of the gate. Because what happens is you recruit three business partners, you get one point for membership, one point for associate, boom, six points. You sell a membership to your mom, your sister, your aunt, whoever, that's another point. So now you've got seven points. When those three associates or three business partners go out and find three business partners, Without ever saying the naughty word, faster qualified, because I do not believe in saying that word anymore, or those words, what happens is they recruit these three business partners, and then what happens is they automatically faster qualify. So now, guess what? You get two, 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 six more points. You've got 12 to 13 points within the second week. Which means if you go out and you recruit another three more, now you guys are seeing, you know, the average associate, brand new, getting started, to bring in 15, 20 players club points right out of the gate. And then those are the folks that are going to go to Hawaii. Mm. I mean, again, guys, you know, it's amazing because you get what you focus on. You know, you get what you focus on. If you're focused on you know, fast start qualifying and, you know, that naughty word. I love how she hates that word because I'm, I now hate it too. Um, but you know, she, she puts the focus higher and then, you know what, it's kind of like that old, Hey, you know, shoot for the moon and you'll land on a cloud, you know, type of analogy, like run right through your goal. Don't even go. If you're, if you're making that a big deal, then other people will too. And then when someone goes, well, I got all 30 days to, you know, get my three people, then there's zero urgency. If someone has a week to get it, then all of a sudden there's instant urgency on there. And again, she's breeding leadership. Um, you know what? Now, Jennifer, when you're having people and inviting people to conference calls or the PCCs, what, what do you say as far as like your invitation? You know, when, when, you're, when you tell your new people, all right, here's what I want you to say to invite people to a PCC. And then as the leader, what are you, what are you saying as the expert on the PCC? What are you covering? And are you closing right off the spot? What are you doing? Yeah, we are, we are actually... Um and let me back up real quick on this contest, either, and then I'll go into the PCC. Um, so in this contest that I'm doing with the Drive to Manager, you know, everyone loves recognition. And so for the folks that are intelligent enough to just fill in the circles, and, you know, I believe a kindergartner to do this, just fill in the circles, you fill in your, your, your circles um, within this three-week period by July 29th, and you're going to win a prize. Number one, you're going to get recognition on our team. Number two, you're going to get a nice little crystal plaque that you're going to be awarded. And number three, Michael Dorsey of Platinum Upline is going to actually call each and every single one of these folks that complete these circles and actually get a, get a personal phone call congratulating them. So my folks are really stoked, really excited about that. Uh, Michael Dorsey uh, has come in and, and done a business briefing for us uh, because of the growth and things that's happening in Goldsboro. So they were super excited to know that Michael Dorsey was going to know each and every one of them. Um, so really what's going to happen out of these numbers and, and the reality of it is, you know, let's face it, not everybody's going to do it. 
but for the majority of the team that does it, you know, we are going to create astronomical numbers, uh, not just the counters, not just the players' club points, but we're talking about some serious, serious income that's going to be happening on this as well. So everybody's super duper excited about that. Everyone's on board, and just like Caesar said, it's because it's easy. Um, and folks are finally seeing the blueprint and saying, wow, Jennifer, I got that. Yep, I got this. This is great. Okay, I'm there. I'm there. And it's actually happening and taking place. Now, on the PCC, I started doing those um, sometime around the end of March, and um, again, got the idea from Michael Dorsey, PPLWealth.com, you know, I applied them upline, and there's a script um, right there um, to invite folks to this conference call, and what I love about it is, you know, we all have folks that we try to get out to a business briefing, or we try to schedule a belly-to-belly with, and people make excuses, they cancel, whatever. Um, to be honest with you, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of faith in going into my first conference call that said, you know what, you know, Michael Dorsey says it's working. I uh, the number one recruiter, Lynn Lionheart, for all of prepaid legal for this year. I was up in, like, Chicago, Illinois, I believe. Um, and, you know, in the dead of winter, uh, this lady is recruiting, like, 12 people a week through these conference calls. And so, you know, I'm thinking, wow, if this is working, Michael Dorsey says, do it. You know what? I'm going to have childlike faith, and I'm going to do it as well. And so what happened is I opened my first PCC up to 10 of my associates, and those 10 associates invited guests. We actually had 22 guests on that call. So, you know, I had about eight guests on the call. My other associates had guests on the call. And 95% of the folks on that call bought a membership. Uh, About 72% came on board as associates. Um, what I found was that the script just really made sense. Um, basically, you know, in, an, in a nutshell, what you're doing is calling up your friends. Again, you're in a huge hurry. Come and call Caesar. Say, hey, Caesar, it's Jennifer. So glad I called you. You know, how you doing, man? Look, I really need your help. You may or may not be interested, but look, I want to do business, and we all know that there are folks out there right now that are just having a tough time with the economy. They're struggling on their mortgages. They're worried about job security. You know, there's foreclosures, all-time record. He's going, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? We got a solution to help a lot of these people. And although you may not be personally interested, I know you've got people that you can refer to me that we can help. So I just need for you to listen on to this call to hear all the details about it so you know how to refer these people to me. Okay, yeah, great. All right, we're going to have this uh, Thursday night at 7 o'clock. This is the phone number. This is the pen. Write that down. You got that? Okay, great. When you call in, Caesar, I just want you to say, hey, this is Caesar. I'm calling in from Wilmington, North Carolina, okay? Okay, great. Thanks a bunch. Click. Boom, I'm going to the next folks. And so at that point, when we did the conference call, you know, very typical, we have a host, and obviously we have uh, the third party on the phone. So, you know, I have a brand new associate as a host on the, on the phone, and they're welcoming everyone onto the call, and then they're going to turn it over for me. I have a 20-minute script, um, again, that I, I got from pplwealth.com, and it's really going over uh, the membership, why prepay legal, why people don't use attorneys, uh, what our services offer, goes into identity theft, and again, talks about an income stream. And somewhere in the middle, I tell my story very, very quickly, very, very brief. And then, of course, we follow up with folks one-on-one. Now, what I do, or what I have trained my, my, my veteran associates to do, is we basically call the host back up right after the, the call. Obviously, we're getting an email from free conferencing, so we know everyone that's still on that call. And then what we're doing, obviously, is freeway and folks in immediately. So I'm going to call, you know, I'm going to call Terry and say, okay, Terry, look, you know, you had, you had eight people on that call. You know, who's your number one prospect? Oh, man, I think it's my cousin. You know, he's he's super sharp. He's an accountant. He knows that people are struggling. Okay, great. Let's, let's, let's put your cousin on the phone. And so we're just going to, you know, say hello to the cousin. Um, and, um, you know, obviously I was on the call, so there's already that, that credibility there. And then I'm going to follow up with the same three questions that we have on the cheat sheet. What do you like best? Do you see a value in the membership? Do you see any reason why someone would not want to protect the ones that they love most? We can activate your membership tonight. How do you want to handle that? Bank draft or credit card? And so we're, we're writing all that information down on a paper app right there over the phone, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and let the cousin know, hey, there's an income opportunity here. Uh, do you see an opportunity for yourself? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you like some more information? And then I'm going to put them on uh, info, and I'm going to let this guy know, look, we've got to follow up with these other people. 
go ahead and go to that webinar right now. I'm going to call you back in 25 minutes, okay? Okay, great. All right, fantastic. Click, go to the next people. Go to the next people. Go to the next people. So we sell those memberships first because memberships meet money. Then we come back to the folks that we've got on the webinar, and we're following right back up, and obviously we're recruiting right over the phone. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And that's pretty much it. Love it. So uh, that's that's excellent systematic stuff right there, guys. And again, the website she mentioned is PPL Wealth uh, for prepaidlegalwealth.com. Um, and if you go there, I'm actually on the site right now, you can click on a little link that says private conference calls. And it um, has uh, that little script that she just kind of ran through. Now, obviously, you could tell the difference. You know, she, hers really, she really makes it come alive from doing it. Obviously, you don't want to sound too canned anytime you're doing anything like that. But um, I love it. I appreciate it. Jennifer, I mean, I'll tell you what, what's going on, guys. You know, with Jennifer, her work ethic is through the roof. I mean, she's spending time investing, you know, working with people one-on-one, -on -one, doing belly-to-belly sit-downs. I mean, she's doing a lot of, uh, you know, old school, just, hey, sit down. Hey, let's make your list. You know, hey, your list isn't, you know, five people. Come on, give me a break. You know, <laughs> I mean, let's extend that out. And another thing really quick. That uh, she said, which which I think, and it's a real big thing that I've been doing recently. It's been working really well. I think uh, I've got Reed, uh, one of my associates, new associates from Washington, on the call. You know, I did a private conference call for him the other day. You know, and um, you know, he probably had uh, I think six people on it. And uh, you know, from the four that we were able to catch up with right away that night, even though those initial four people were not interested in jumping on board with us, here was the best thing. I offered to pay every one of those people referral fees for anyone that they sent me. I said, listen, if you know, if you can, uh, here's what I'd like to do. You know, I'd still like to, even though you don't have the time and you don't have the interest, that's totally fine. I'd still like to pay you, all right, for sending me the right types of people that I am looking for. You know, our company pays great referral fees. And what I'd like to do is just set something up with you where um, I, I'm going to basically ask you for, you know, who you know that's the sharpest person uh, that you can possibly think of that could help us out with what we're doing here. And if uh, they end up coming on board and they end up doing well, like I'm sure they will, you know, I'd love to just go ahead and uh, throw you some money back, you know, for doing that. We pay great referral fees. I believe in taking care of people. And, and you know something? <laughs> that, for, for the four people that he had, we got each one of those people to give us their top two sharpest, best people that they know. 